Oh, what it do? What it do, what's young up, forty? Up? What's up with your player? How we doing? How we doing? Chilling, yeah. chilling. We welcome you to the Chief House, man. Thank you for welcome. This the first interview. We getting it popping straight off. We doing it one hundred and ten. Okay. <laughs> so, man, tell the tell 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 the viewers who Young Forty is. Young Forty, boy. Born and raised in Florida, little spitter, young in 23. Um, I fell in love with music at a very young age. I've always used it as a form of expression, and uh, that's what I want to do. Okay, okay. Did you um, did you have anybody in your family that was into music, or just like listening? You was like, all right, this is something that I want to do. Yeah, no, nah, nobody. My dad writes poetry. Um, but nobody actually picked up an instrument or anything like that, neither have I, to be honest with you, but um, I always kind of wrote, like middle school, high school, just kind of, when I was bored, and I just kind of fell in love with it, at first it was a hobby, you know what I mean, and I just wanted to pursue that, okay. that passion. Okay, that's what's up, man, so what, 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 what age were you when you dropped, when Young 40 dropped his first track it made it all official how old were you like two years ago man actually i dropped um motivation and pain uh july 13th 2014. okay yeah. so you remember the date to a t yeah that's a that's a very sentimental date actually okay. for me bro that's uh that's my motivation right there that date um unfortunately uh i found my grandmother dead that day and uh, I was 19, uh, and that day just kind of was a was a wake up call for me, man. And I really wanted to uh, turn my life into something, you know what I mean? I felt a lot of pain, and that resulted in motivation. So I labeled the first day motivation and pain. Okay. You know I mean? Yeah, man. A lot of people, man. I would I would say. Um, it's definitely the catch twenty two, cause uh, we don't want for it to necessarily something like that to happen before we see it. But yeah. sometimes that's just you know the way that's that it works. Yeah, absolutely. You know, sometimes you gotta hit rock bottom to climb. You know what I mean? Exactly. I was yeah. just telling somebody about that today, man. One of my homies, he was um, he posted on Facebook, and I could clearly tell. You know, he was going through a little something, something. But I was like. It ain't, it ain't really about what you feeling right now. Yeah. You know, once you hit that point, you know I'm at the lowest I can go, that's when you're gonna learn everything it is. Yeah. Know what I mean? And I'm, I'm, I'm glad you took that experience and, and and you made it into a positive, you know, and- um, That's life, bro. Yeah. It's life, you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. Uh, it's all about how you bounce back. 100, 100, man. Absolutely, absolutely. That's what's up, man. So, Dropped your first uh, your first tape two years ago. Yeah. You dropped another one after that. What was the name of that one? Soul Body and Mind, the Cold Case. Soul Body and Mind, the Cold Case. Yeah. That's a tough ass name. Yeah. Cold, cold name. Boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a story behind that too, man. How There's you, always a story. How bro. you? What's? Tell me that one. Tell me that one. All right. So uh, after Grandma, you know your boy. He experienced a little bit, explored a little bit, he was very down, and uh, I hit rock bottom. Uh, at the age of 21, I quit drinking alcohol for six months because it was turning more into a, uh, a problem. You know what I mean? I wasn't liking the person who I was on it. You know what I mean? The shit that I was doing. So, so body and mind is really, I got connected with all three of those. You know what I mean? And that's really what you need. And it was a cold case because it's a very dark content. Almost like there ain't no answer. There ain't no question. There ain't nothing to be solved in a way. But throughout my music, I like to try to tell a painful story. Sometimes it was dark, but hopefully in the hopes to maybe somebody could connect to it and be like, yo, this dude got through it. Maybe I could too. Mm. You know what I mean? It's something like that. Just always, I, I, I want to be the light in the dark. You know, if I if I can get through it, you could too. You know, I, I've done it. I don't want you to do the same shit that I've done. 
you know what I mean? Because this is what it resulted in. So it was it was a very dark take for me. Um, but that was written mostly in 2012, a little bit of 2013. It just dropped. Mm. You know what I mean? It was um, I, ha I was sitting on it. I wasn't sure if I wanted to drop it. Yeah. Because it would just it was such a dark side of me. Right. And I wasn't quite sure if people were gonna appreciate that. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I didn't really want to come off like that. Yeah. It's all about timing, yeah. man. It's all about timing. Would you say um, you've grown from, you know, putting these projects together? Always, always. The third tape is a, which is not out yet, um, that's much more happier. You know what I mean? And that's my bounce back in a way. You know what I mean? I'm very confident with myself. I'm very conscious with myself. And I'm very accepted. So I'm much happier as a person right now than I was, say, 2014, 2015. Hmm. You know? That's what's up, man. That's what's up, man. I like, I like, I like the conversation, <laughs> man. It's, a, it's some real gems in here. It's yeah. I mean, I'm just not that. I'm not here to just portray something. You know right. what I mean? Like that. Like I, I feel like I belong here. I deserve to be here. I, I, you know what I mean? Everything that's my course of life. You know, I just. And, that, and that's the way that I express myself, you feel mm -hmm. me? Like, that's through words, through the, like, lyrics and then portraying it. No hopes to just help somebody, too, in the way. You know, if I can share my story, get somebody out, out of mud, then it's all worth it. 100, man. Each one, reach one, each one, teach one, however you want it to go, it's, 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 it's all a positive step forward. Yeah. And, um... What can we expect from this 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 next project? You say it's gonna it's it's more of an uplift and it's happier, you know, it's it's young forty in a different sense. Yeah, yeah. You see a lot of you're gonna get a lot of smiles. You might even laugh when you hear this. It's funny. You know what I mean? It's it's me, it's my personality in a way. Um I'm goofy. Um but I got features from B Popes, my homie, Kim Bada. Uh, I even got DJ Key scratching it. Um, it took me about a year to put together, but it's uh, it's who I really am though, and, and how I, I want to portray myself is as an image, as, as young Ford. Okay, okay. Who, 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 who on the production lineup? Um, Nobody local, bro. Honestly, um, I got an in-house producer in Germany, man. Shout out to Henrik 3000, bro. I've um, been working with him for like two years. He's heavy on that. Majority of that is him. Um, he just he just has a great, great style that just I, I match perfectly with. Yeah. Um, and then I got a couple other producers from SoundCloud that I met a couple years ago, and we've been on. A good relationship and they send me exclusives and shit like that so i just been working with that but no really nobody local man i haven't really ventured out to that yet bro i'm so comfy in my zone you know what i mean right and every track's progressing too bro it's just it's working out perfect right now cool cool that's what's up man it sounds like you got you got the formula for what you want yeah you know and and, and definitely um you seeing the benefits of it you know uh, speaking on what you got going on this this weekend. Yeah, this weekend is gonna be lit. Yeah, we got uh, burn down the house. It's at Crowbar. Uh, doors open at four. A little Sunday fun day kind of thing. Uh, we got Op Super DJing. Uh, B Pope's hosting performances by Eyeball Rally, Sweet and Low, myself, and headlined by Mike Mass. Um, we got live painting. I got uh, Marley's House uh, Clearwater Smoke Shop. It's coming out. They sponsored the event. Shout out to them. They're coming out with a big section of glass. Uh, we're doing raffles. It's going to be just a dope, dope time, bro. Super excited for that, man. Okay, okay. It, it, it sounds fun. How you, do, how you came up with the lineup? The lineup? Yeah. I mean, I wanted to kind of stray. I didn't want it to be a... Because we got Sweet and Low, that's a band, acoustic. I was actually thinking about getting a reggae band before. Mm. Uh, but I don't want it to be strictly a hip-hop 
you know what I mean? Because there's a lot of that going on right now, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? I wanted to kind of differ. So it's, um, I wanted to put me on that first. But uh, I bought Relly. He's a heavy hitter out of St. Pete. You know what I mean? He's got tracks by Zaytoven. So I wanted to get him. Actually, my cousin makes pants for him. Mm. So I've known him actually for a year or two, and I've always wanted to put him up on the lineup whenever I threw an event. Mike Mass is always the homie. You know what I mean? He's, yeah. Shout out to Mike Mass, bro, doing big things for Tampa. Um, he's he's always the man to go to, and he puts on a show, bro. So he's definitely going to burn down the house. Mm. Um, but I want to possibly continue with this event and get different kind of genres of music. I don't want it to be strictly hip-hop. Okay, that's yeah. understood. Understood and appreciated, man, because like you said, it ain't really a lot of that. Yeah, you know, I want to connect the audience and stuff right, like that too, bro. Right, and it definitely have uh, an acoustic band. Yeah, yeah, they're nice, bro. I've known them, I've known them for six, seven years, bro. You have, you have, you have thought about going that route, like doing a track with them or something like that? I have a little bit. I just haven't gotten the time to really chop it up with them. Mm -hmm. You know, what I mean, I'm all for collabing, but I'm not for really venturing out of my zone. To be something completely different than I'm not, you know what I mean? Um, Real. I gotta feel it. Real. So we'd have to we'd have to chop it up, you know what I mean, and really find the sound. Real. But I'm, I'm about it, bro. You know what I mean? That's what's I'm up, man. It. That's what's up, man. Yeah, man. This 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 conversation, man. Um, <laughs> it's dope, bro. It's dope. You know who you are. Yeah. Uh, you know where you come from. Yeah. Most importantly, you know where you want to go. Yeah. And uh. You, taking the steps, you know what I mean? Like I say, you going from, and I put this in an article that I wrote a little while ago, um, you taking it from just like being a, a, a rapper or an artist and taking it into the business, being an entrepreneur, wanting to make your own lane and make, you know, make it what you want, you know, because everything in this form ain't all the times how we want it or what we want it to be, and sometimes we don't got the, the power to change it. But when you make the avenues to do so, then ain't nobody stopping you but you. You know what I mean? So I appreciate it, man. You know what I mean? Letting people know where they could find you. Uh, let them know the, uh, about the where they could get to the event this weekend. You know what I mean? July 10th. Yeah. You can find me at young40music.com, young40music at Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, whatever. Uh, the events at Crowbar and Ebor. Uh, Sunday, 4 p.m., bro. Young 40. 100, man. Appreciate you, player. Thank you, bro. Yes, Appreciate sir. you, bro. Absolutely. It's an honor, brother. You know it.